Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Engineer's Guide. It's been a long time. Um, today we are going to talk about the FM200 systems. Okay, and today we, this system we've talked about it before, but this is in another chapter. Um, I, I just want to solve the questions that people are asking. Okay, so now we'll just keep it in the automatic mode. All right. So it's our um, quarterly maintenance that we're doing and these are the cables. This is what we have here. We just have a bell and the evacuate signage and this is the abort switch and here we've incorporated um, one relay that we're going to use to shut down the AC systems. So it means to say whenever there is an alarm that is depending on the alarm that I'm going to, has been connected to is when it's going to shut the ACs down okay so that is what we're going to do here so this system it's more or less like the the vest system the also the hochiki we have different types but this is the ash colored type which goes by the name the extinguisher control with the model number K11031M2. Okay, so that is what we're gonna check today. And we move straight. We have show you the zones. These are the zones. We have two zones zone one and the zone two. Alright, and these are the systems that we are controlling. For the sake of it, I don't want to show all the systems, but this is the preview of it. Okay, we are just protecting the systems here. Then, here is the cylinder. The cylinder is Kitty. Okay, Kitty. And because we're going to test, we have removed the solenoid. This is the solenoid. We just removed so as for us. And this is the pressure switch. Okay, right. I think the cylinder and the full weight is 201.7. Okay, so it's quite a huge cylinder and that is what we are using to protect the communication room like say the water it could be the Vodafone room as you can see this is Vodafone okay it's a Vodafone room that we are just protecting with this system okay so let's quickly get to the system so we ah. so okay we will start with the zone one okay so any of the zones we can start with it so we are going to start with one okay so there we go now we activated the zone two okay for first so we connected the relay to zone one um, to the first alarm so now here it is it has been activated so the AC now here all are shut down All the ACs are off now. Okay. In case I would like to silence, I need to push the key. Then make alarm silence. Okay. So now I can silence the system. Then I can also stop the beep sound. Then I will just keep it back. It's okay. So now I've just silenced the system. Um, one somebody was asking me a question that he cannot control using. Mainly, you need to put the enable key. Okay, like that before you can control. If I want to raise sound, I will just press again. It will just raise sound, and I can silence it again. Okay. And if I want to silence the buzzer, I will just go by here. Then I will just keep it. Still, the system is in active mode. You can hear of the sound of the because here is in basement, the jet fans are also running at the same time. Now let's go quickly and check the cylinder. What has happened to the cylinder? The cylinder is still in good condition. Okay, so as you can see, it's still in good condition, and the solenoid has not yet activated. Okay, now let's move on to the next zone. Now we go on to the zone one. Okay, so we're gonna spray just a little. Okay. 
this is what is happening here. The evacuate lights. Now it's working. And now we have a timer. Okay, that is going with the two. Okay. I will press stop. Press the button. Switch. Abbott. Now we press the Abbott switch. It has led us to by the settings. We've made it 30. Okay. So just release the release the abbot. Release. Now we release the abbot. It starts counting down. Okay. So I'll quickly make silent. The sounder outside. It's also working, okay? Go to the cylinder. Just check what is gonna happen. Okay, so it has extended. Now you see the extension. That's extended, okay. Now there is it has extinguished. So if I had connected it to the cylinder, I would have released the cylinder. Zone one, zone two, and the extinguisher has been extinguished. Okay, so this is what is happening. Another panel that can be controlled from outside in case you want to extinguish with a manual release. It's like a repeater panel. Okay, so here is it. Okay, so now what we are going to do is we're putting the key switch to manual only. So we are going to check what is going to happen when we activate manually. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, so we start the manual mode. Silent. We just make silent, then we just go to the cylinder and say. So now it means when you put in manual mode, unless you just activate manual, if not, it's not gonna extinguish. So in case you make a mistake, then you put it in manual mode thinking that it's gonna work, the system will just probably be in an inactive mode. So you just need to take care of that also as well. Okay, it's very important. So now we will try to press the extinguishing release here and see in manual mode if it's going to work. Just let's press. Oh, so you see now, manually it's working. So let's go and check the cylinder. So now you see it has extended and to reset this it's so simple so I'm going to reset this one for you to see how it's been it's just simple you just get something test that and it... now you see okay okay so now everything is now in normal condition so we will just put everything back to normal and clean the devices okay okay so now we clean we will just fix back. Okay. okay, so now everything is in normal condition, so the ACs are in working condition now. 
because now the system is in normal condition. So as you can see, AC is working. Then this is the status of the panel now. Everything is in working condition. Um, if you'd want to know more about this panel, I will just leave a link um, to my YouTube channel on how the system, how it's being terminated and everything, okay? Everything will just be on. And for now, we say thank you. And please subscribe. Please subscribe and share the video. And like and comment also as well. Thank you. One, two, three.